and welcome to the FSX Blue Angel Autopilot tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the basic modes, submodes, and operation of the autopilot system found aboard the Microsoft Flight Simulator Acceleration Boeing FA-18A Hornet. First, we will need to display the autopilot menu on the upfront control panel. This can be accomplished by clicking on the autopilot button located just below the number pad. Once the autopilot button has been pressed, five autopilot submodes will appear to the right of the number pad. The submodes can be activated by clicking on the small round buttons found to the left of the letters. A small colon will appear, indicating that the selective mode is now active. To disengage the selected mode, simply press the autopilot master switch located on the up front control panel or the Z key found on your keyboard. Each one of the modes displayed represent different autopiloting functions for your F-A-18 Hornet. First on the list is the ATTH mode, which is short for Attitude Hold. With this mode selected, the aircraft will remain at the nose high or nose low attitude that was present during the time of activation. This mode is useful for lengthy climbs or descents. Second is the HSEL or heading select mode. The heading select mode will allow your aircraft to maintain the heading indicated at the bottom of your multifunction display or MFD. To change the heading indicated on the MFD simply click on the toggle switch labeled HDG which is located just below the fuel gauge. This mode is advantageous for flights that require a specific heading to be maintained for an extended period of time. Next are the barometric altitude hold and radar altitude hold modes indicated as BALT and RALT respectively. With the barometric altitude hold mode selected, the autopilot will maintain the altitude flown by the aircraft at the moment the BALT mode has been engaged. This frequently used mode is useful for maintaining a certain altitude above sea level for long durations of time. Radar altitude hold mode is normally used to maintain a selected altitude above ground level which is highly desired during low level flight or mountainous terrain. Unfortunately, the radar altitude mode has not been modeled in this aircraft and therefore cannot be used. Last is the coupling autopilot listed as CPL. Once engaged, the coupled mode will steer your aircraft to the selected VOR station or GPS waypoint that has been entered into your Hornet's navigation system. To fly toward the selected VOR, ensure that the active navigational aid on your horizontal situation indicator is set to TACAN. This can be verified by a box around the letters TCN located on the top left of the multifunction display. To fly toward the selected GPS waypoint, ensure that the waypoint mode is active by selecting the button next to the letters WPT found on the opposite side of the multifunction display. Coupled ILS approaches can be accomplished by using the same methods as mentioned for the VOR and GPS waypoints. The coupled mode is great for flying predetermined flight plans. This concludes the autopilot tutorial. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact any of the team members at www.fsxblueangels.com.